Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for dialing in on uh, Tuesday night. Um, let's just wait for one or two more minutes um, for other people to dial in and we will start. Thank you. Hey, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for dialing in on a Tuesday night. Uh, we are really, really excited um, to have the opportunity to share with you our, uh, our achievements and the impact that we have created uh, over the last one year. Um, so my name is Tiffany Liu, and I'm the co-founder of uh, NextGen Investors Endowment. Uh, we are a non-profit organization based here in Singapore. So um, for tonight, uh, we will cover the following. So we will talk a bit more about who we are, who exactly is Next Gen Investors Endowment, um, some of the key highlights of the impact that we created, uh, our two flagship programs under the Generation Z Investment Club, um, and some of the activities that we have organized um, and in, are intending to organize um, over the last one year and also going forward. Uh, we would also love to share a bit about the awards and recognition that we have received, um, as well as as, um, give recognitions um, to our supporters and encourage, encourage you to support us as well. So 
um, who are we? So Next Gen Investors Endowment Limited is a Singapore incorporated nonprofit organization. Our goal is really to educate and mold the next generation of responsible investors. Uh, we really started in 2018, uh, first just as a club, uh, which is the Generation Z Investment Club. And over the years, um, as we gain more support um, from investors globally, um, and we decided to formalize um, the process of us contributing to the society, and hence we have incorporated a list entity here in Singapore. So this is the first year uh, Next Gen Investors Endowment is reporting uh, our impact. Um, the report covers all programs and initiatives active from July 1st um, to June 30, 2022. Uh, we really hope that through this report, uh, we can provide you a more comprehensive picture of the achievements and long-term goals uh, of the endowment. Um, so here are some of our impact highlights. Um, these are the two um, UN Sustainable Development Goals that we hope to achieve. Um, so the first is SDG number four, which is quality education. So um, over the uh, last year, we have given out uh, 4,000 Singapore dollars worth of scholarships uh, to sponsor students from low income families uh, to pursue higher education. We'll dive into more details later on, um, but uh, half of the scholarship are actually provided by our students. How? Um, they manage their own um, portfolio, and this is actually donated through the profit that they have generated from managing the portfolio. Uh, we have also raised um, close to 19,000 Singapore dollars to support 21 students of the Next Gen ESG Investing Program 2021 cohort to undertake the CFA certificate uh, in ESG investing. Uh, we believe this is really our effort um, to promote quality investor education and help um, students worldwide, whatever background that you are from, to have that opportunity to learn about investing. Um, the next SDG goal that we focus on is SDG 5, gender equality. Um, so I think this is something that um, at least I personally hold very dearly uh, to my heart. And um, I feel that for, we feel that for finance industry, especially uh, women are very much underrepresented. Um, there is a data released by the Morning Star, which says that only 7% um, of the mutual funds in the US uh, are actually managed by females. Um, so over the years, we have worked very, very hard uh, to attract more young females uh, to join our programs and be an investor. And we are very, very proud to tell you that 39.5% uh, of the Generation Z Investment Club are females, up from 23.1% in 2018. Uh, and our eventual goal is for that to reach a 50-50 male-to-female ratio. Um, this is already significantly higher um, than the industry average of 9%, um, but we want to make it 50%. Um, and right now, we are also very um, proud to say that 40% uh, of our student leaders, um, namely the portfolio managers, um, the chief investment officer, um, they are actually females. Um, and based on how we have observed over the years, uh, I would say that our female students are um, at least as good, if not better, than our male counterparts. Um, and we hope to continue to encourage them to pursue um, the investor journey. So now going into Generation Z Investment Club, which is really our flagship program. Um, so it is an intercollegiate student-run investment community operated by the Next Gen Investors Endowment that seeks to inspire the next generation of leading investors by equipping members with the right mindset and knowledge for a lifelong investor journey. So we have two active programs under the Z Club, uh, namely the Next Gen ESG Investing Program and the Gen Z Value Investing program. So we'll talk a bit more about both programs. Um, first of all, for the Next Gen ESG Investing Program, um, 
that is actually our newest program that was launched last year. Um, it is a two-year program delivered by leading industry professionals, uh, and it's designed to support preparation for the CFA Institute certificate in ESG investing. Um, right now, for this program, uh, we only recruit members from Singapore universities. Uh, no prior knowledge is required, and the program is free for all. Um, based on last year's intake, uh, we have 57% male and 43% female students, and they come from um, all the different schools in Singapore. Um, so we have people from National University of Singapore, uh, Nanyang Technological University, Singapore Management U University. Um, I'm sure some of the audience on the line right now uh, came from these schools. Um, we also have one student from Tsinghua University. Um, so she is a unique case because even though she studies in Tsinghua, she was actually based here in Singapore. Um, so that's why we make the exception to accept her. Um, in terms of ethnicity, uh, I think we are pretty much on par with um, the, the population of Singapore, uh, which is about 80% Chinese, uh, and the remaining, remaining are um, Indian, Malay, and we do have a Filipino student as well. Um, for our curriculum partners, um, so this program uh, is called Develop uh, with Sec Partners, which is a billion dollar fund um, based here in Singapore. Um, but we also have the support of the CFA Institute as well as uh, BAB Paribas. So they actually co-develop um, this um, sustainable game show that we use in our program as part of our edutainment effort, um, basically just to make learning a lot more fun for you. Um, so we hope to share some data points to exemplify the impact that the ESG program has created. Um, 100% of our program students agree that they will recommend this program to their peers. 100% of our program students agree that ESG is important. Um, and 21.4% of students from the program have also converted from a non-investor to an investor. I will highlight that 66.7% um, of them were already investors before, uh, just that we increased that by another 21.4%. So close to 81% of our students are active investors managing their own independent portfolios. We also feel that our students have grown and matured drastically as investors since they joined the ESG program. And we can see this um, from behavioral change. So first of all, what is the definition of long-term? Um, before the, our students joined the program, um, their average um, concept of long-term was 4.7 years. Um, after one year in the program, uh, we have seen a significant increase of 42.6%. And right now, students recognize that uh, on average, they believe long-term means um, 6.9 years. Um, our students' understanding of ESG have also drastically improved. So before they joined the program, uh, they rated themselves on average 1.9 out of 5. After one year of the program, that has increased by 107% to 3.9 out of 5. We have still have another year to go. Hopefully by the end of that, we are going to see a 4.5 or 5 out of 5. Um, for the certificate in ESG investing, 100% of our students have signed up for the CFA certificate in ESG investing and they are expected to complete uh, this certificate by the end of 2022. Uh, we hope to report to you in our next impact report uh, their result, uh, which of course we hope that all of them will pass the exam. Um, so we have a lot of testimonials from our students. Um, you can find them probably on LinkedIn and other channels. They might be your classmates. Uh, feel free to reach out to them um, and ask them how they feel generally about the program. Um, we have some excerpts from uh, one of our students, Jing Zhe, uh, who basically said that um, before joining the program, um, he was more of a trader. But after the program, he understand like, the importance of sleep at night consideration and why it is important to integrate ESG uh, into his analysis framework. So right now, he's more of a long-term uh, investor and a buy and hold um, strategy uh, works for him much better after the program. So um, as like some of you that um, is listening right now probably know, 
um, our program, one thing that's special about it is that we actually give real capital for students to manage. Um, is this, um, so for the ESG program, uh, we actually provide them 40,000 USD um, to manage across four teams. So each team manage $10,000. Um, and they started uh, managing the portfolio uh, in January 2022. Uh, we have seen significant alpha generated. I think everyone knows that um, this year has been an extremely tough year uh, for the stock market. Um, but right now, uh, our year-to-date performance um, is just slightly underwater at uh, negative 3.9%, where else MSCI war index is actually down close to 20%. Um, so the students actually generated a 15% exit has returned uh, above the MSCI World Index. Um, one of our things is actually um, positive this year, uh, up uh, more than 7% year to date. Um, so we are very, very proud of their performance. Um, we feel that um, they have uh, really incorporated what they have learned in class and translated it into real quantifiable results. Um, even though we don't position ourselves as a, a, a job provider, um, but it is true that a lot of our students through our programs actually landed um, to um, very, very respectable institutions, um, uh, either a full-time or internship with them. Um, so right now, like some of the names that you can see, so Arizac Partners um, hired for our program, Bank of Singapore's ESG team hired for our program, uh, Star Magnolia Capital, which is the multi-family office uh, behind us, um, also hired for our program. Uh, all of our other students have also secured uh, very reputable internship offers uh, from the likes of Temasek, TikTok, Deutsche Bank, DBS, etc. Um, so now I will actually pass the mic um, to our other co-founder, Shinya Taguchi, to talk a bit more from, uh, about the Gen Z Value Investing Program. Yeah, please. Thank you, Tiffany. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Shinya Taguchi. Um, as Tiffany uh, made an introduction, I'm one of the uh, co-founders of uh, Generation Z Investment Club and then Next Gen Investors Endowment. Um, so this is Gen Z Value Investing Program uh, is our first program we launched in, back in 2018 with 13 members. Uh, today we have 57 members. Uh, this is indeed a global program. Uh, we are connecting uh, many uh, different students uh, from different parts of the world. Um, the, we have 67% uh, male and then 33% female uh, members right now. Again, as Tiffany mentioned, uh, our goal is to achieve 50-50 uh, over the next couple of years. The investment program is very similar uh, to ESG investing program. Uh, the, uh, the value investment program focuses on uh, the value investing opportunities, not speculation or trading. Uh, Everybody is focusing on the long-term uh, fundamental uh, investment styles, and the, uh, we have uh, the two different uh, groups, or we call chapters. Uh, one is called international chapter, and the other one is called greater China chapter. Uh, we have two chapters because of the language uh, differences. So international chapter is operated in English, and the greater China chapter is operated in, uh, in Chinese. And uh, they, these two uh, chapters combined, uh, they are managing $100,000 of uh, capital. So uh, portfolio, uh, the performance this year, uh, you know, again, this is you know, the very difficult year for, uh, for any investment programs, but then uh, you know, the, the, the program managed to uh, survive uh, relatively well, uh, down 5.2%. Uh, after 2000, uh, challenging 2021, which is down 10%. Uh, overall, uh, since inception, uh, the, uh, the combined portfolio of value investing program uh, outperformed uh, Muski slightly. But we, uh, we believe that uh, our investment programs and then our long-term value focus approach uh, should generate uh, our performance over uh, Muski.
So this is not only for um, the uh, for the uh, Gen Z value investment program, but then uh, for uh, the Z Club as a whole, the giving back or philanthropic uh, mindset is extremely important. So as you can see uh, in, in, in the picture, uh, her name is uh, Kyla, uh, Kyla Bai. Uh, she's coming from very poor uh, family backgrounds in the rural area of China. Um, the, because of the low income family backgrounds, the, the, the entire family had never thought about investing. Uh, they, we do two things. One is we provide a scholarship, uh, not a huge sum, but then uh, the large enough for her to attend schools and then having a comfortable uh, educational experiences. And at the same time, we invite uh, our scholars uh, to, the, uh, to the club and then be part of the investment program. Um, her progress uh, and the growth as an investor uh, has been remarkable. Uh, we are all really inspired and then uh, it is indeed surprised by her. And then, and also the impact we are actually making to uh, those young uh, boys and girls. So uh, the, the first year we had two students, uh, both are coming from uh, Gansu province. And they, we are inviting two other uh, students, uh, one is from Yunnan province and then another from Shanxi province. Uh, we, are, we are hoping that uh, they will uh, join the club and then learn their life, uh, learn uh, how to invest and then have a life-changing experiences with us. So um, <clears throat> when we start the program or when, when new, uh, new members join, uh, join the program and then we start with a bootcamp, uh, we call it uh, Invest Your Life Bootcamp. Um, investing is not only investing in stocks or other investment opportunities, there are two ways to invest, investing in others and investing in yourself. And then uh, it is also you know, very important uh, for you to learn how to invest uh, in yourself, invest your time into these learning experiences. So these are six weeks, uh, the learning experience, uh, very intense. Uh, there are a lot of other case studies, but then uh, you will meet uh, new, mem new members who eventually will become your lifelong friends. And after the six weeks, uh, the, the boot camp, uh, the, the members are new members are invited to join the, uh, the to, to the investment club officially. Um, just like uh, you know the ESG investing programs, um, they, they some, you know they, a lot of uh, uh, the students or members from value investing program also found uh, many jobs through these experiences. Uh, of course, we are not helping them to get the jobs, but then. Um, they, you know, we, uh, they, you know, they, uh, they have access to extremely good managers globally, and then uh, they are able to convince those employers to, uh, to hire them. So um, the the names are names include Design Group, uh, As Auspice, Pinpoint, Stomach Noya Capital, and then the last three, this Rainforest Partnership. Um, the, uh, one of our, you know, the first cohort students, uh, Max Tai, uh, who just graduated uh, from uh, Zhejiang University in China. Uh, he's from Malaysia. Um, the, he actually, right after he graduated, uh, he started his own uh, asset management company or investment partnership or Rainforest Partnership, uh, which is very uh, impressive results and outcome for, for our programs. And then uh, it shows that uh, how we can help young uh, investors to, to find their own passion and then build their own uh, the career, uh, not working at the uh, other companies, but by creating their own company. Thank you, Shinya. Um, so after running the programs um, for four years, uh, we wanted to increase our outreach um, to the bigger community, uh, not just here in Singapore, uh, but also globally. So one of the effort that we have made um, this year is to co-organize the SMU Next Gen ESG Investing Conference uh, with the Singapore Management University and the I Investment Club. Um, so the purpose of the conference is we want to um, 
allow students a chance um, to present their ESG investing ideas and to, to invite uh, reputable investors to share their thoughts about ESG investing. Um, we, we're very happy to say that we received an overwhelming response for the first ever ESG conference with over 100 uh, sign-ups um, for audience. And despite that, that morning was a horrible morning with huge downpour in Singapore, uh, we still had about 80 audiences that show up um, at the physical event to join us uh, to learn more about ESG investing. Uh, we had uh, 61 teams uh, across Singapore universities that signed up um, for the competition, um, and out of which um, four teams actually proceeded um, to the final. Um, and then the final, um, the final um, winner of the entire competition um, is Team GameStock. Um, and we are actually very proud to say that um, the three students of Team GameStock uh, are actually uh, students of our ESG program. Um, it, this gives us confidence that um, you know, the kind of curriculum and training that our program has provided uh, has indeed prepared our students well enough uh, to be judged by professional investors as the best you know, uh, ESG um, investors uh, for the event. Um, so here is just a list of names and um, the, co the companies that they have pitched. Uh, interestingly, our uh, final four of uh, which three are Chinese companies and the top two winners actually both pitched GDS Holdings. Um, so the first runner up actually also came from our program and the best analyst award um, was also awarded to a student uh, who is from our ESG program. So once again, very, very proud of our students' achievements uh, and we continue to hope um, to groom uh, another batch of um, great ESG investors like them. We have also received overwhelming positive feedback um, from attendees and students. So here are just some of the snapshots that we have. Uh, Keith Ho, for example, Associate Director uh, of the SMU Endowment, uh, recognized that this has been uh, a very remarkable uh, event where students delivered impressive stock pictures. Um, and we also have Jen Lun, um, investment director from the Sustainable Future Fund, who was also one of our guest speaker um, that came in and then really recognized that um, the, the unique way of us um, teaching um, or endowing students the knowledge of ESG investing. Um, Shinya, over to you again. Thank you. So um, in, um, the, yeah, you know, we, we operate this uh, investment club, but then we also uh, develop new way of uh, learning investing. And in our view, uh, yes, of course, investing has to be serious. You are, you're dealing with real money. And then, but then at the same time, it should be fun. Right? And then uh, many uh, investors or maybe, uh, you know, investors to be um, or investor wannabe, uh, sometimes they are afraid of, uh, investments because they think it's difficult and dangerous. Right? Um, of course, we are not saying that investment is not dangerous. Uh, there's a lot of risk associated with investing, but then uh, it is also important for you to learn how to manage risk uh, through inv you know, actual investment experiences. But then just like you know, the basketball, right? And then reading uh, the basketball, you know, the textbook or maybe uh, cartoons, uh, you can learn a lot about you know, the playing basketball, but then unless, until you shoot the first ball uh, into a basket, uh, you will never be able to play basketball. The same thing for investing, right? Uh, we want to make your start of investing a little bit early, uh, easier by creating this, uh, the invest tune, right? And then uh, we're using this invest tune combined with the, the game show concept developed by the CFA Institute. So uh, this is uh, you know, the case study and then uh, the quiz, uh, the experiences that you read investing or manga uh, of the, the, uh, the investment uh, experiences and then the case studies. And then you will discuss this case study with your friends or families or you know, other people. Uh, by doing this, you can develop 
uh, your understand your, your understanding of investing much deeply uh, in a very enjoyable uh, way. So uh, don't worry, investing is not alone. Right? You can find your friends and then you can learn together. And this is, we think is a be better way and the best way to learn uh, how to become an investor. So uh, we are working with uh, the, the couple of different partners uh, to launch this investor game show uh, first in Singapore. And we want to reach out not only uh, investment professionals or uh, university students uh, the studying in finance to become investment professionals, but then the ordinary people in Singapore, uh, we want to make impacts and then we want to help them to change their life. And that's the purpose of investing, investing in game show. Thank you, Shinya. So uh, we want to be very transparent um, to all our supporters. So if any of you um, is interested to view our management accounts, um, so our financials, uh, feel free to drop us an email at admin at gencloud.org uh, and we are more than happy to share it. Uh, we are also very, very grateful um, for the awards and recognition that we have received this year. Um, so we were one of the finalists um, for best nonprofit for school age education um, for the money awareness and inclusion awards. Um, and we were also um, featured by the Business Times um, in on the front page um, to share about like our initiative of helping the next generation um, to learn investing. Um, here are a list of our supporters, um, donors, sponsors, academic partners. Uh, it's impossible for us to achieve um, what we have just shared with you today uh, without their support. Um, and we are once again, extremely, extremely um, grateful um, for their support, not just financially, but also academically. And we continue to look for supporters who are willing to join us on this journey um, of helping people, more people to start their, their own investor journeys. Um, if you are interested to support us, um, please feel free to once again reach out to us at uh, admin at gencloud.org. So thank you so much um, for joining us tonight. Um, you may find more information about us uh, at www.genzgroup.org. Uh, we also have our linking, our Instagram uh, and our Twitter. You can also find uh, information uh, of all of them uh, on our website. Uh, feel free to also search Next Gen Investors Endowment uh, uh, linking um, if you are interested um, to read some of the articles that we have published there. So thank you all. Um, and if you are interested to receive the full impact report, um, as the one that we have shared today is a summarized version, uh, feel free to let us know as well. Uh, thank you.